Hello, my name is Gregory Tucker, and I'm the executive producer of Nightbeat Entertainment, aka Nightbeat Media. Uh, this is a tributary documentary far as to a friend who recently passed away. His name is Brian Clemens, aka the singing man. Uh, Brian, let me. Um, how do I describe him? I'll start out with a uh, very, he was a very complex individual. Um, I can say in most people you will meet, uh, probably have this to say about Brian. Um, a, a tremendous vocalist, an artist. Uh, he was a very creative writer, uh, chef, <laughs> top notch. And... Uh, a visionary. Uh, uh, Brian, how did I meet uh, Brian or Lifestyles? I met him in the uh, process. Uh, first time I saw him on a uh, video his cousin uh, Thomas Fisher had did. Um, he was doing a, um, he had did a music video. It was somewhere in the 90s. Uh, next time we met was the uh, early part of 2000, going into the 2000s. Uh, during that time, I was working on an independent uh, movie titled Before Dawn. And Brian, he had arrived with uh, his friend and his partner, uh, Steve Durham. Um, uh, Brian he explained, for, for and foremost, uh, that he was an artist, a musician. Uh, during that time, he uh, sung. Brian had a way of introducing himself through song. <laughs> that is, I don't know, he did a acapella thing and uh, next thing I know I was listening to some uh, soundtracks of him. Uh, he had offered to do the soundtrack for us for the uh, movie. I'm Lifestyles, writer, arranger, producer, vocalist for Lifestyles Entertainment Group in affiliation with Nightbeat Entertainment, we now present to you New Americana, the song entitled Keep Praying for your viewing. Check it out. So many damn questions And I'm trying to work things out Life is getting much harder There's no easy way out Hello, my name is William Lucifer in the Dayton, Ohio, formerly with a number of groups locally and nationwide. And we're here to, to, uh, to mourn the losses of a colleague, friend, uh, Jerome Brian Clemens of Dayton, Ohio, formerly with quite a bit of groups in Dayton. And uh, we realized that he had passed away and, and we're here to uh, recognize his great talents that he had locally and nationwide. Yes. Lately. Ain't no conversation going on. 
I met Brian from Dayton, Ohio. He was uh, a friend of mine, Kenny Loggins, uh, introduced me to him, and uh, he was into recording, which I love to record. And uh, he, we worked on his CD, my CD, and different things like that. And he uh, completed, I guess, and wherever it's at, you know, hope it's okay. But other than that, and when we, he decided, he did start traveling a little bit. I went with him sometime, you know, and then they had other guys, you know, for known groups. Are you really ready for me, baby? Friendship uh, tend to grow. Uh, Brian had, as I mentioned, he had lots of ideas. He was constantly um, thinking of creating these things. Uh, first thing was a uh, spec. Uh, I was invited over to uh, him and his, part, his partner's uh, house because he wanted me to shoot a spec a commercial uh, for him, and that was for an Uncle Ben's rice. Uh, which uh, unfortunately we didn't get the commercial picked up but what a feast and that's where he was able to show his creativity as far as his, his uh, culinary skills he made uh, jambalaya what is that rice pudding and Christ cream uh, and, and there was another dish also, I can't think of it right now, but uh, all of those dishes were outstanding. They were really like great. Um, we went on to work on other projects together. He had a uh, project um, titled Real Life Tracks, which basically it was uh, a love story that he wanted to put into music and that was <clears throat> the uh, trials and tribulations that many couples go through uh, which is real life and he put it into song song uh, would be the most rememberable song that we would start it you know and he got what he had wanted to get on the song and then they start we start filming and Greg start editing the audio and the, the video and stuff and um, it was done uh, 
quite successfully and he kept a copy of it and it's very vaultable, you know, and we we'll just hope that, you know, they get some airplay or whatever, a Christmas song, you know, to to rec recognize him as, as a fallen artist of Dayton, Ohio, as well as any other cities that they've he's been in his life and hope the best for his people that know him and respect him and miss him in his life. Do you see what I see? Let's all gather around the Christmas tree. Just wanna say a little prayer for the family. Father, 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 father. Protect your children. You know they see you, and you know they listen. message that you're sending Can we all come together in harmony Brother, 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 brother We need each other You're a leader No, the future. Shoot, or the first uh, part of that project uh, included Marshall Jones, the late Marshall Jones, Boots, Vaughn, and Brian. Three wise men, except it was the three uh, musicians. Uh, you know, nobody foresaw any of this. Uh, other stuff either. Nobody foresaw Marshall, um, Mr. Jones getting ill, or uh, Brian, lifestyles becoming ill. So it was a, it was a happy time. It was good. It was a good project. When I look at that piece and I see those guys actually uh, jamming together, that's something that can never be reduplicated. Ooh. Uh, last time I seen him, uh, he, we were looking for parts for computers for he can start a new project, and so we got his computer up and running. He said, "Well, I'm going to Virginia, living with uh, some of his relatives or something." I hadn't heard from him since, and then so one day, uh, I think I mean, it's been about just two months. I guess it was around. Uh, this is December, I guess it was around February. No, maybe January. And I ran to a friend, a bass player, uh, that worked with Kenny Loggins sometime, and he told me Brian had passed away. I said, wow, I didn't know that. And he said, I said, well, uh, I'll get in touch with Kenny to find out if it's true or not. And then he said, well, yeah, he been passed away for two years, so well, they totally forgot that I knew him. <laughs> so, uh, just want to give my respects to his family and his people, and wish him, uh, you know, good and, and sorry for your loss. In the Navy, we always had a saying when uh, we were getting ready to go somewhere and we knew one of her shipmates, we may not see him again um, for a long while. And we would always say uh, fair winds and calm seas until we meet again. Keep singing that song and your legacy lives on through song.
the Father Protect your children Cause you know they see us And you know they listen Listen To the message That you are sending Can we all come together in harmony You're a leader You know you're the future Do you see what I see? Headlines read Children the victims Senseless crimes No one to defend them Don't matter if it's mental or intentional It's the same result Death is physical Poverty, delinquency, teenage pregnancy High school dropouts Kids feeling left out Bullied, neglected from broken homes There's far too many of our children lost without hope It's just too many We gotta teach the little ones what it really means To be family Mother, 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 mother Teach your children Cause you know they see us And you know they listen To the message Protect your future Cause you're a leader I hear a child crying out Born in a manger Safe with the mother, father and the love of strangers Protected by kings Kept by the angels With the message of peace, love and hope you know you're a miracle Protect your children Cause they're the future And you know they see ya And you know they listen To the message that you send.